Hello people! Delight over Julian Bran! Yes! Welcome back to the Southampton career mode. Today we face Chelsea... <laughs> Today we face Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. We got knocked out of this pretty early last season, so I would like to go further. Then we've got Crystal Palace at home, which I'm probably going to sim because we've got Benfica in the group stage of the Champions League, which we've had a great start to. And then we play Arsenal, who I have failed to beat in two practically cup finals now at Wembley. But first, we must go and face Chelsea in this Carabao Cup, and I'm hoping that they don't go and put out their strongest first 11. Bakayoko's hair is alive. He's having a rave in there. What's going on? It's a disco in Bakayoko's hair. This is the team we're going to go with. Going Tammy Abraham up front against his former side, Chelsea. He's going to have something to prove. He's going to be like, fuck you guys. You never give youth a chance. And Miri goes at number 10 with Bufal and Chiesa on the wings. Nagy and Lamina are in midfield with Target, Hood, Stevens and Troopy in defence with Forster in goal. It is a very weakened team, but I believe in them. It is a beautiful night here at St. Mary's Stadium. The air is crisp and clear. It's a nice night to play a game of football. Suzu man two times winner of this competition, the League Cup. Players to watch Morata. Oh, brilliant. So they are starting with Morata instantly. That's great news. Jesus Christ, it is not much of a rested side from Chelsea. They do play a few players like Kennedy, Zappa Costa, who doesn't usually play, and Clark Salter. But other than that, it is a strong Chelsea eleven. So my team is certainly more rested than theirs. So it's going to be a very difficult game now. Got to pull out a really good performance now if we want to advance in this competition. And that's instantly a great tackle from Lamina. And he looks to thread it through for Tammy Abraham. Is he going to instantly score against his former side? That is a shocking effort, Tammy. Come on, lad. I thought you'd be wanting to, you know, put one in against your old side and say, fuck you. Oh my god, that's a good pass into Kennedy. Hood slides past it and he's just tried to slot it in. He's off the crossbar. Oh god. Oh god, we got lucky there. That was some poor defending. Amiri, nice bit of skill from him. Looks wide. And sends it into Chiesa, who's found himself in some good space. Whips it for post. Tammy Abraham, he's done it. There is the goal. Oh, God, Tammy, don't belly slide on the concrete. But that means a lot to him. We've not really been on top in this game, but Chiesa finds a beautiful pass. Tammy Abraham peels off at the back post and bang. It puts it close to Courtois, but it's enough power on it to go in. And he loves that one a lot. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's, oh, it's horrible to look at him. Who is that? <laughs> oh, Amiri's just done enough with that ball roll to get around the Chelsea defender. Oh, and he hops another challenge. This is a great run from Amiri. Cuts it inside, whips a ball in. Nagy heads, Tammy Abraham, touch it. Oh, all he needed to do, Tammy, was just touch it slightly. Nagy, oh, he's just managed to get round Kante and slides it into Tammy Abraham. Takes a touch round, hits a venomous shot. And Courtois has to stop it again. Redmond and Gretzka are going to come on now for the last 20 minutes of this game. Just want to see it out. Hold on to this lead. We're doing really well. Massive header from Gretzka. Instantly shows his power. And Amiri gets it up to Tammy Abraham and takes a nice touch round and scores the second. Tammy Abraham scores two. Gretzka has literally been on the pitch for 30 seconds. And he has already got involved in a goal. Amiri, who's been fantastic today, slots it through to Tammy Abraham. It's a good finish, rolls it into the corner, knows what he wants to do with it. And he's going to be very eager to get this hat-trick against his former team now. Gretzka into Lamina. Into Amiri. Back to Gretzka. Gretzka finds Amiri again. Amiri looks for Gretzka. Um, Gretzka looks for Amiri. Tammy Abraham, look at this football. Redmond! Oh. What a way to end it, Redmond. It was a difficult chance, to be fair. Excellent tackling from Chiesa. And there we go. Full-time whistle goes and Southampton knock out a very strong Chelsea side in the Carabao Cup with a significantly weakened team. That's going to hurt Conte, but it's a big win for Southampton. All right, Premier League game now. We have Crystal Palace at home and I am going to try and sim this game. We couldn't beat Crystal Palace in a sim before, but I believe we're going to do it this time. That's the team we're going to go with. We're going to rest a few players. We play Benfica in just two days. So resting the players that don't have a great amount of stamina. Hood and Target come into the defence. Nagy into the midfield. Bufal and Lamina. But it is more than strong enough. But this is a, a, a team that's doing well, Crystal Palace. Drawn against Aston Villa and Leicester City. And got a draw with Man City. But we beat them. Three goals, Ward Prowse, Bufal and Amiri comes off the bench to score one. Good stuff. Much more confident in the Sims now with this team. No, 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 no. God's sake, these training injuries. Unfortunately, Virgil van Dijk suffered a medial collateral ligament. He will be out for two months. God damn it. 
That is bad news. Two months ahead of what is a busy period. Oh my god, now King's kicked off and said he wants to be in the transfer window. Jesus Christ. Bad emails coming through my inbox at the minute. I knew I should have just signed out. So Van Dijk will be missing October and November where there's some very important fixtures. Chelsea, Tottenham, Benfica, Real Madrid away. Okay, we've got to put it behind us and go and play this Benfica match at home. We are currently top of our Champions League group with uh, having a better goal difference than Real Madrid. But Real Madrid will probably put about seven past Schalke. I think they've done that in the past anyway. So going to be an easy game for them. Whereas us, I hope that Benfica are playing the same goalkeeper they played against Manchester United. And if he could walk all my shots over the line, that would be brilliant. Sanabria comes in up front for this Champions League game. Tadic is at number 10. Bran and Chiesa now 80 rated on that right hand side. He's flown up. Romeo and Goretzka in the midfield with a defence of Cedric Bertrand, De Vries and Hood comes in for Van Dijk who is injured. I could play Stevens, but I'd rather play a tired Hood. I've just got much more confidence in him, especially at Champions League level. Oh, lovely. Champions League football comes to Southampton. Look, they made a massive deal of it as well with that Southampton badge that's cut in half. What the hell is the right-hand side of the crowd doing? Get it together, lads. There's a policeman stood next to Sir Zootman. That's not good. Okay, lads, come on. Let's kick on. These are the games that we have to win with the thought that we possibly will lose both games to Real Madrid because I just don't think we're that strong. We have to win all other games to make sure we are going through in this Champions League. Here's Raul. Sends a ball in behind. That's a good pass, Cedric. You've got to be quick. Oh, he is quick, but he sent it straight to Talisca, who has scored instantly, and Benfica get a goal in six minutes. That is extremely disappointing. And Cedric, I thought he got the tackle in here, and he sort of does, but he sort of helps it on as well to the Benfica striker, who puts his foot through it. No chance for Lafon. It's a good finish. Jeez, that's a good move from him. Sanabria lines it up. Hits a shot over. Luis Al may have got something on that. No. Romeu. Up to Gretzka. Gretzka sends it wide. Cedric looks for the pass to Chiesa who has opened it up for himself. And Chiesa is going to drive it into the middle. Brand goal. Great move. Great finish from Brand. Snapshot into the corner. And it's a great ball from Chiesa who has looked very creative. Cedric finds the pass. Chiesa calmly decides that he's going to drill it across the middle into the danger area. Beautiful take from Brand. Romeo to Sanabria. Manages to shift it wide. Oh, Tadic, you've got to make that pole. Oh, and he's failed twice. Idiot. Into Tadic. Tadic takes enough space to hit a finesse. So wide. God damn it. Two balls that would have opened the defence up then from Tadic. He failed to make them both and then fails to hit his shot on target. Gretzka sends it wide to Bran. Bran hits it high. Can Chiesa get his head across that? He can. Can Tadic win that? He can. Bran, goal. Two goals for Bran. Julian Brand on the score sheet twice now. Instant comeback within half an hour after going 1-0 down within five minutes. Big ball in the air here. Well won by Tadic and it lays up an easy chance for Brand, which he has taken beautifully. Uh, he's, he's a special player here. I like him a lot. Here's Taliska. Gets it wide. And here is Raul. Raul hits the shot. Lafont really should be catching that. Straight at him at his near post. And Sanabria picks it up. And can he do what he did to Manchester City? And fly all the way down the other end and score a goal. He's waiting for that run from Brand. It's going to be a hard one for Brand to get. But he has got on the end of it. And Brand cuts it inside. Whips it in. And here's Sanabria at the far post. Heads it. Goes well wide and well over. But nice move again from the two yards. Cedric into Tadic, into Gretzka, who moves it to Romeo. Romeo fires it at Sanabria, turns his man, gets it through to Tadic, hits the shot, and Varela has to pull out the stop. Can Chiesa make anything from this? Pulls it back to Cedric. Cedric whips it in, and oh, it's a poor cross. Raul, oh, he's just managed to get past Hood here, and the shot, good save from Lafont. Gets a strong hand to it down to his right. Oh, Raul gets the ball to Talisca and they scored again. Second goal for Talisca. It's just opened up for him on this hour mark. Bran lost the ball in the midfield, which was frustrating because he played so well. Yeah, Bran just loses the ball here, out muscled instantly. It opens up for them. Cedric's out of position. Good finish again from that man. Double substitution. Amiri's going to come on at number ten for Tadic, who hasn't been hasn't been great in the first hour. Nagy comes on in midfield too for a bit more passing ability for Romeo. I want all three points against Benfica at home. Brand, good pass, moves it into Amiri. Amiri needs a pass to open up. 
He's got nothing on. That's beautiful skill from him. And a good save from Varela from a great solo effort. Amiri shifts it wide into Gretzka, who gets it in to Chiesa. Chiesa needs a pass to open up. Gets it into Amiri, who shifts it wide himself. Hits the shot, and Varela gets it unsighted. All right, my last hope is to whack Tammy Abraham on up front. Uh, Sanabria has not quite got himself involved in this game too much. Nagy up to Bran. Who manages to shift his way through that gap. Great run from Brand. Shifts it in to Goretzka. Goal! 87th minute on the clock. And we have found the winner. Brand has been involved in all three goals. Bagging two and getting the assist. And it's that man, Goretzka, who finds the winner. Beautiful stuff from Brand. Confidently runs through two players. Shifts it in to Goretzka. And it's a strong finish. 3-2 Southampton. Come on, lads. Oh, Benfica are not giving up on this result, though. I think we've got the winner. They don't. Raul shifts it back into the midfield. Deflection. De Vries puts his foot through it. Tammy Abraham to chase that. Oh, again. Benfica win it. Into Samaras. And here's Talisca, the danger man all day long. Shifts it wide. Carrillo, easy save for Lafont. And he'll just slowly walk around the box until the ref decides to call time. Oh, my God, the player's running at me. Leave me alone. There we go. Full-time whistle. What a win. What a home game for these Southampton fans to witness. A 3-2 drama show with Benfica. Taliska was a big handful for us to deal with. And we were missing Van Dijk in this game. But Bran, man of the match by far. Superb performance from him. Real Madrid lost to Schalke away. That is a shocking result from them. But an absolutely superb one for us. That puts us three points clear at the top of this group, and that is great stuff. All right, back to the Premier League where we have six wins out of six, 18 points. Two points ahead of Stoke, who have started off brilliantly. We face Arsenal away, a team that I've really struggled to beat in the last two times I've faced them. And it is away at the Emirates too, so it's going to be a difficult game indeed this one. But I really want to show them that I can beat Arsenal. And I need to find a way to, you know, somehow get a way around this bloody five-back that we play. Two changes to the team that played Benfica in the midweek. Amiri comes in at number 10 for Tadic and Clivert comes on the right side for Chiesa. Let's just swap these two over. I'm looking at Brand to really step up and do the similar performance that he did against Benfica to get us the three points here against Arsenal. We deserve them. We're in much better form. Still the top scoring team in the Premier League. So Zuman really knows how to work a defence. And in this season too, he's really managed to form a great attack that is scoring a lot of goals. There is that goddamn annoying five back. It's a very similar side that beat us in the Community Shield. Kashiani, Mustafi and Chambers are the back three centre-halves. With a speeder in goal, which is a significant weakness to check. Got to keep sight of Sanchez though, because he did tear us up a whole lot last time we played him. So, Romeo finds Gretzka. Gretzka puts it in to the box where Amiri is and he's got some space for himself and it shifts it wide to Cliver, wicks it to the back post. No, Ospina punches away. I probably should have drilled that one. Oh, great tackle from Bran. Amiri gets that ball in behind to Sanabria. Sanabria puts it across Ospina. Goal! Oh, solid finisher Sanabria is. I love it. Oh, yes. Here comes my revenge against Arsenal. Great tackle from Brand. Amiri slots it through into Sanabria. And he smashes it with his left foot far into the corner. It's a fantastic finish. Oh, my God. What a tackle from Gretzka. Oh, what? How's he? Jesus Christ. And Amiri gets in there with a good tackle. Look at the lads. They're passionate. They want to beat Arsenal. They hate Arsenal. Go on, Gretzka. Power one into the corner. Deflection off Mustafi. Sends it over. Gretzka. Into De Vries. Gets it to Romeu. Romeu's just going to hold off Koscielny. Into Gretzka again. Back to Romeo, Sanabria shifts it off to Amiri, gets that touch away, oh, wide of the post. Welbeck into Alexis Sanchez, who just can't quite get a tackle in, neither can Gretzka, and De Vries can't get across. Goal kick, says the referee, San Cazorla gets it through the legs of De Vries, it's so unlucky from him, but it is a goal kick. Here's Romeo, wide, into Bertrand. Bertrand swings it to that back post and Clive is going to take it down. He's going to nod it into Sanabria and he scores the second goal for Sanabria. Great stuff. 2 0 up against Arsenal on the hour mark. Boos echo around the Emirates Stadium. 
but they deserve to be behind today. Bertrand whips it far to the back post. Clivert calmly takes it down, knocks it inside, and it's a great finish from Sanabria. Right, time to see this one out now. Going to get Lamina on into the midfield, and Chase is going to come onto the left-hand side for extra energy as Brands worked hard today and needs a rest. Here's Meredios. Excellent. They've been superb at the back today. The boys have. And here goes Romeo. And can Romeo open it up for Sanabria to possibly get his hat-trick here? Sanabria for the hat-trick. He's done it. Hat-trick for Sanabria against Arsenal. He sinks the Gunners. My revenge plan is complete. The boos get even louder. As Sanabria will be taking the match ball home. And we finally have got our revenge. Great finish from Sanabria. What better place to do it away in their back garden. Five goals in the Premier League for Sanabria. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. A penalty's been given away. A ball into the box to Koscielny was superb. De Vries lucky to escape a card there. Well, Sanchez versus Lafon. Who's going to come out on top here? And it is Sanchez. They get a consolation goal. Fuck off. Yes. Huge win. Arthur can have their shitty consolation goal. It means nothing to them and it means nothing to me. Sanabria's taking that match ball home. Well, there we go. That win puts us five points clear at the top of the Premier League table. And we've been in, we have just been absolutely solid, really solid performances from Southampton in these last few games. Let's get a training session in, in this period. Just to enjoy it, just to bathe in this fucking great form. And look at that. Clive that moves up to 81 rated now. All right, going to end the episode here, guys. Next episode, we'll have a great chance to play second in the table, Stoke City, and, and widen the gap even further against them. We will also have a huge test as we will face Real Madrid away at the Bernabeu. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for more FIFA 18 career modes. I'm Zootman. Hope you have a great day.